Okay, this next video is going to be a little bit shorter and a little bit easier. We're going to be practicing using inverse trig functions on our calculator. Okay, so we can only do inverse trig problems without a calculator if the number we're being given happens to be from a special right triangle like a 30, 60, 90, or a 45, 45, 90. Okay, so if I'm asked to evaluate inverse sine of 0 0.48, 0 0.48 is not a number that I recognize getting from a 30, 60, 90, or a 45, 45, 90, right? So instead, I'll need to use my calculator. And I'll be really clear on tests and quizzes when I uh, need you to use your calculator and when I don't want you to. So this is a problem where we're going to use our calculator. We're going to give our answer in both degrees and radians. When I turn my calculator on, I can see that I'm in degree mode right now. I'll find the inverse sine button. Here's sine. Inverse sine is just above it. So second sine gives me inverse sine. And I want to calculate inverse sine of 0.48. Remember, I'm in degrees, so the answer I'm about to get is going to be the angle measure in degrees. My calculator is telling me that sine of 28.685 degrees is equal to 0.48. You know what? In fact, let's check. Sine of this number, is it in fact equal to 0.48? Yeah, that rounds to 0.48. So my answer in degrees is 28 point, let's round to the nearest tenth, 28.7 degrees. Now, uh, I may also want to give my answer in radians, okay? So let's try that. First, I'll need to switch from degrees to radians. I'll hit the mode button, mode, and I'll change to radians from degrees and quit. Let's try it again in um, radians this time. So once again, I find my inverse sine. It's the second function of sine. Second sine gives me inverse sine of 0.48. Now this time, my answer won't be in radians. It'll be in degrees. Or uh, let me say that again. It won't be in degrees. It'll be in radians. 0 0.500654 radians. Again, let's just round to the nearest... Uh, Mm, let's go to the nearest hundredth here, so 0 0.50 radians. Pretty easy. Okay, let's try one more. Um, let's evaluate inverse tangent of, I don't know, negative 2.6. Inverse tangent of negative 2.6. I'm going to give my answer in both radians and degrees. I'm already in radians, so I'll start with radians. Inverse tangent, the inverse tangent button is just above the regular tangent button. Inverse tangent of negative 2.6 gives me negative 1.2 radians. I'll switch to degrees. And try the whole thing again. Inverse tangent of negative 2.6 and I get negative 68.69.0 uh, when I round degrees. Okay, be sure that you've got your units here so that it's clear um, whether you're giving your answer in radians or degrees. By the way, if you multiplied 69 degrees by pi over 180, let's just do it real quickly, negative 68.9 degrees times pi divided by 180, aren't I converting to radians? And let's see what we get negative 1.203, which is what we got when we did radians. All right, guys, your problems for homework are page 582, numbers, let me find it here, 7 and 13. Here's number 7. You can stop the video now if you already have this, uh, if you have your book in them. Number 7 is asking you to evaluate inverse sine of root 3 over 2. And number 13 is asking you to use your calculator to evaluate inverse tangent of 2.6. Oh, I didn't realize that when I picked negative 2.6. Oh, well. All right, I'll see you in class tomorrow. Bye.